traditionally this act, which passed in 2012, was designed for specific human rights abuses, kidnapping, murder, that sort of thing, torture. But in this bill, they open it up to whatever they define as serious human rights abuses, and they can penalize elected officials or people in other countries who they feel are encouraging those abuses. And you're right, for the Biden administration, human rights abuses don't necessarily mean just murder, kidnapping, and torture. They mean not being LGBTQ friendly enough. They mean not being pro-abortion. And this is not something that might happen down the road. The, the bishop in the Dominican Republic has said that the Biden administration has tried to weigh in and prevent uh, officials in the Dominican Republic from keeping abortion illegal. Um, we know both in Africa and Eastern Europe, the Biden administration or the Obama administration had weighed in kind of the opposite of what you'd consider Christian values. It's a very scary thing. They also uh, not only are, um, have changed the law in that regard, but they're saying you can be indirectly involved in that. Does that mean a church person who is saying they're against abortion in the Dominican Republic could be sanctioned by the United States? And this is what it means. Yeah. If you're not taking these anti-Christian stances, we can take your bank accounts in the United States. We can prevent you from getting a visa in America. Think what effect that's going to have on these elected officials. Well, it's a it's a scary premise, Congressman. Uh, the administration basically giving themselves carte blanche to be judge, jury, and executioner in a totally subjective way. How unusual is something like this? Well, I think there was some criticism for it being subjected even eight years ago. But uh, I think it is a very common thing we're going to see both in Latin America, in Eastern Europe, and uh, uh, Africa in which the Biden administration pushes its LGBTQ agenda and now they have and abortion agenda and now they have the ability to penalize people in these countries who don't follow the left wing line. It's really scary and you're right. Our country was meant to be a moral and religious nation according to John Adams and instead what are we getting? We're getting right. using huge financial power to weigh in on issues similar, by the way, to that bill that recently passed down in Florida. Yeah, saying, and I, I want to talk about that. I can't imagine that these policies, by the way, are popular anywhere outside of our own borders. They're not really that popular here. Um, yeah, back to Florida. So Florida was criticized last week for this so-called don't say gay bill. It doesn't say that anywhere in the bill, by the way. But this bill basically would ban teachers in public schools from talking about gender identity and sexual orientation for kids K through third grade. Um, when I saw that, I was kind of scratching my head. Why stop with third graders? Um, why, basically, by doing that, they're saying it's okay for fourth graders to be told about, to, to learn about that from somebody who's not qualified to teach about that. Really, really kind of bizarre. You wonder they were sitting around an office someday and a Florida legislator's uh, down there with the Florida legislature and they were deciding how to draft the bill and somebody said, well, we can't go to fourth grade. That's too extreme. We better, we better right. say it's okay to, yeah, it's just, what has happened to our country is unbelievable. And the fact that the Biden administration has weighed in in Hungary with a similar bill. I mean, the United States is very powerful with all our economic might, not to mention military might. And to have the Biden administration weigh in on behalf of the American people, saying that you've got to teach this stuff in the schools of Hungary is very embarrassing. Congressman, final question. Um, I know you're passionate about the situation at the southern border, the forgotten border now with everything going on uh, in Eastern Europe. But every day our situation at the border is getting worse. What are people missing about what is going on down there on a daily basis? Well, just a huge number. You, you talk about 100,000 people a month, 90 to 100,000 people coming across. You talk about 8,000 deaths a month from the fentanyl. And we even had a, an increase in funding in that bill last week, the big omnibus bill, so that we would get more lawyers to represent the illegal immigrants coming across. I mean, can you imagine we're broke out of our mind? We don't have money for a wall. We don't have money for many more border agents. I mean, should we need a lot more. Got a few more in that bill. And instead what we're doing is that let's hire some more lawyers. Right and uh, help represent people who come here illegally so that they can't be uh, kicked back. That's just unbelievable. Um, and there's a big difference between an illegal immigrant and a refugee. Um, the Polish government, the people of Poland, are welcoming these Ukrainian refugees with open arms. That's not the situation at the southern border, despite what you might hear on CBS this morning from Gail King. Congressman Glenn Grothman, great to see you. Thanks so much for the information. We appreciate it.